In this video, I'm gonna share my six-figure blog formula to show you the exact strategy that I used to build a six-figure website, my way. Now, this is without selling any products of my own or my own courses. And then I'm gonna show you how to implement these same strategies so you can get started today. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so first I wanna give you a little bit of background of myself. Now, my first year starting to blog, I had no idea what I was doing and I barely made anything. But after discovering how to get traffic from Google, I made $200,000 the very next year. This was life changing for my family and I, and I will say I, this is not the typical scenario that you will hear from most bloggers, but I was 100% focused. My blog had to work. I didn't have a plan B. So I was completely committed to writing an article every single week or every other week. Now the amount you can expect to earn blogging, it does depend on what niche you're in and the personal finance niche that I'm in, it is one of the most profitable niches that you can be in. But I still wanna show you how you could still build a six figure blog in other niches as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a scenario of how I would build a six figure blog in another category starting today. And this category is to do a blog for people who love dogs. So step one is for you is that you need to determine what you want to blog about. Now, if you don't know what you want to blog about, I did a video to help you figure out what to blog about and how to determine if that is even profitable or not. So if you're not sure what you want to blog about, I'm going to put that video in the description below so you can check that out after this video. Step two is to think about how can you help someone with your idea? because the only way to make money blogging is by helping people. And you need to target a very specific group of people. And I'm gonna show you the importance of that shortly, so just stick with me now. So I want you guys to fill in this blank. I help people blank. Now in my example, I help people with dogs come up with things to do with their dogs. So the specific group of people that I'm targeting are dog lovers. So step three is to determine if people are actually searching for what you want to write about on Google. Because when most people have a question, where do they go? It's Google. And what pops up in the search results? It's blog articles. So you wanna find out what questions people are searching for on Google so you can answer their questions through your blog articles. And that's how you're gonna get traffic to your website. Now, in my case, I want to find out what dog related questions people are searching for on Google so I can write an article answering their question so I can get traffic to my website. Now, there are many ways to do this, but the first thing I would do is to think about just like what dog related questions will people search for on Google. And I'd use this keyword research tool that I love to see if people are actually searching for these questions on Google. My strategy is all about just getting traffic to my website because that's how I'm going to make money. I am not and I will not depend on friends and family to support me in this. So I use tools like KW Finder to find out exactly what people are searching for on Google so I'm not just writing my articles in vain hoping someone's gonna actually uh, click on my articles. So I paid $49 for their monthly plan and if you guys wanna try them as well, you can try them out for free for 10 days if you click on the link in the description below. So what I'm doing is just putting in different questions that I think dog lovers will actually put in Google. So I wanna go to my computer right now. So I'm gonna put in here, things to do with your dog. And then I'm gonna say, find keywords. So this is a great example right here. It says that 2,100 people search for this question every single month on Google. Now this is great because I typically look for a monthly search volume of a thousand or more, but the search volume, it kind of really just depends on what niche you're in. Now you also will see that the keyword difficulty is 21 out of 100 which means it's gonna be fairly easy for a new site like mine to rank for this specific question on Google if I write my article in a certain way. And just so you guys know, you want to be on the first page of Google for whatever search term that you are targeting. And you wanna be at least in the top two search results if possible. Because just think about the way that you use Google. Do you usually scroll down to see all the search results that pop up? No. Most people just look at the first two search results that come up unless you are just really focusing on or looking for something very specific and you're not finding it. Go ahead and put this in a Google spreadsheet because I wanna document this information that I'm doing. This is what we call keyword research. So I'm gonna go ahead here and do things to do with your dog. That's gonna be what I'm going to have a, a specific article on. And then I'm gonna write in the 
search volume, which is 2100, and the keyword difficulty is 21 out of 100. So what I'm doing is I'm basically building a case to see if this is a good idea for a website. And I'm also building out my content calendar at the same time. Now I also love KW Finder because if you filter by keyword difficulty, you'll also find some other related keywords that people are searching for on Google. So these are other just content ideas that I could write about. So if you filter it by keyword difficulty, you'll know that red is hard, orange is kind of hard, and green is easy. I like to go for the easier keywords because that's gonna be easier for a brand new website like for mine to rank on Google. When I say easy, that means it's not as competitive, not that many people are actually writing a good article for that specific question that people are searching for on Google. So I wanna go for the less competitive questions or better known as keywords. Now when I'm talking about keywords too, I'm talking about long tail keywords. You wanna uh, find questions that are three words or more. The more specific a question is, the easier it will be for you to rank on Google typically. So if you just filter this and you can go, I go all the way just to green because I wanna see what is easy to rank for. Now I see just really quick glance here, what to get for a new puppy. 820 people are searching on Google for this every single month and it's gonna be easy to rank for on the first page of Google. So what this is telling me that this could also be something I could write about on my blog and this will also be a great affiliate opportunity because if someone is searching for what to get for a new puppy on Google, they are at the purchasing stage. So this means that they are ready to make a purchase, they just need to know what do I get for a new puppy. So what I would do is I would try and probably go to Amazon, anyone could be an Amazon affiliate partner, I would go to Amazon trying to find some good things for a new puppy, I'd add them to my article, use my unique referral link, and then I would write my article in a certain way for it to actually rank on Google. So once this article, what to get for a new puppy, I'll probably do like 10 uh, great things to get for a new puppy or something like that. I write an article, optimize it for Google, and then once it starts gaining traction in the search results, this would be for a great money-making affiliate opportunity because they're gonna see my article in the search results about ways to get, um, 10 things to get for a new puppy, then they're gonna read my article, I'm gonna give them some really good suggestions, and then they're gonna say, oh, that's good, let me click on it and make a purchase. And then I earn a commission. So that is how this thing works. And that is how I make the most money on my blog is through affiliate marketing, by answering people's questions on Google through products and services. That's how you make money on Google, that's how I do it my way. So I will also add this to my spreadsheet. So I will put in what to get for a new puppy, I add this to my spreadsheet, and just continue to find content ideas using KW Finder. So I would use KW Finder to use this to build my case to see if I had a chance at creating a profitable blog. Now I would see if I could find at least like 30 different keywords or better known as blog article ideas that I could possibly ring for on Google to say, okay, this is going to work. So after I've done a ton of research, I will cancel my KW Finder subscription and just focus on writing these articles and writing them in a certain way for them to rank on Google. But the next thing I would do is if you don't have a website yet, you need to create one. So I have a complete free step-by-step -step guide on how to start a blog from scratch. And I have a video tutorial that actually goes step-by-step -step on how to build your website. So once your site is up, you'll need to start writing. And you have to write your articles in a certain way if you want Google to pick them up. Now there is a way to do this that allows me to get my articles to rank on Google almost every time. And after countless requests, I have finally decided to create a course to help you guys learn how to write your articles to rank on Google, how to find endless content ideas, how to get other people to mention your website on their website, which is known as a backlink, and a Google ranking criteria. I have monthly group coaching in there now. And I see so much value in our monthly calls that we're already having right now, and I know it's helping them stay accountable and on task because it takes a lot of work for you and time for you guys to even see money on this. So. I definitely see the value of the course that I created. I have students in there now and they're already doing well just uh, going at their blog, writing their articles in a certain way that they now know can actually rank on Google. So if you guys are interested in that, I will put the link in the description below so you guys can check it out to see if it's something that um, will work for you. But now let's talk about how I will monetize this blog. Now the first way I will monetize this blog is through ads, but I won't be getting much traffic to my website for quite some time because I want you guys to know and expect now when you start writing articles for Google, it could take six months to a year before they start ranking your articles in the search results. 
because Google has to trust that your website is a legitimate website. There's a ton of scam websites out there and they don't want to be showing those sites in the search results. So it takes time for them to understand what you're writing about, making sure that you are a legitimate, credible site. So it takes time, but if you can stick with it and trust the process, it is so worth it. So I'm actually going to wait until I can monetize my blog with ads until I start getting more traffic to my website. Now to be a part of the ad network that I'm currently with, which is Mediavine, you need to have 50,000 sessions within the last 30 days to even apply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just focus on writing a new article for my spreadsheet every single week, one article a week, or maybe every other two weeks, as long as it's a good quality article with a great search volume. But the more articles you're publishing, the more chances of your articles to start ranking in Google and the more chances of you starting to get trapped to your website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be trying to promote a product or a service in my articles that I'm writing so I can make money through affiliate marketing. So let's just say after being accepted into Mediavine, I start earning $2,000 per month. Now this is just with ads and I'm going on the very low end just so you guys can have an estimate of how this could work. And if you add affiliate marketing, I will estimate that I would be earning at least a minimum $6,000 per month because when I was doing my research on this, I found some dog related training courses and some other decent affiliate programs that could be very beneficial to dog owners. And I'll be promoting these products and services throughout all of my articles and I would give them a reason to make a purchase. So if I'm getting over 50,000 page views per month from Google, people who are specifically looking for dog related questions, that should be very easy to accomplish. Now I'm also going to be adding a snippet to all of my articles to join my email list for more ideas on how to give your dog the best life or something like that. So I could build an email list and monetize that as well. I will also do sponsored emails or sponsor articles and add an additional $2,000 per month. That's why it is so important to target a specific group of people because when brands want to connect with you, it's only because your readers are who they want to get their products and services in front of. Now, the other good thing about sponsorships is when companies see that your articles are ranking on Google for specific topics that their audience is looking for, they reach out to you. I never once reached out to a sponsor and they just come to me because they see that my articles are ranking on Google and they want to get their products and services shown to my audience. So just being on Google, I'm telling you guys, it adds so much credibility to you. Now I went very low on these numbers just to show you how you could build a six figure website. There are other ways you could do this from selling your services, but I won't get all into that in this video, but I just wanted to show you how you could make $10,000 per month blogging. Do you see how that works? How could you not have a six figure website? It's all about having a plan, executing and just trusting the process. This is what I did and it has worked greatly for me. So to get started, make sure you know what you want to blog about and that making sure also that it's profitable. Now you can watch my video on how to do that if you need to in the description below that I'll put in there. And then you need to make sure that you build your WordPress website and I have a free guide on how to do that. So I'm going to put that in the description below as well. Once your site is up and you get it running, then you can start writing articles in a way that you know will rank on Google. And if you need help in this area, then you can consider my course if that's the route that you want to take. Now in my course, this is where I'm going to teach you guys how to write for Google and I share my methods on how you can grow your blog to a six figure blog. I also give you guys a blogging schedule because I know I've just given you a lot of information and I show you how to actually do this part time only working a couple hours a week because sometimes when you're getting an information overload like this, you end up doing nothing with that information. So it's so important to have a schedule and just to take this one step at a time. So take the steps that I mentioned in this video one by one, and that is how you can build a six figure blog. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching. I wish you guys all the best.